Hi, teacher. Fine, Tumiriam. Fine, Tumiriam. Fine, Tumiriam. Tumiriam, Tumiriam. How was your weekend? Wait a minute. What do you do? Mm, I went to Mexico City because um my father and a friend yes. um planning and the party because they celebrating on um, bigger day. They celebrated. Mm, they celebrated on um, bigger day for day. For a friend, for a two, and father and a friend. Ah, okay, for both, for a, for your for a for a friend. Mm -hmm. Very good, man. Mira, tell me, how was the party? Fine, I like it. Very good, man. Very good, very good. Okay, man. So tell me, um, what about yesterday, man? What did you do yesterday? I did chores and um, um, homework in the university. Homework? Yeah. Okay, man, very good, very good. Mira, um, did you watch any movie last weekend or yesterday? Maybe, last weekend maybe not because you were kind of busy, but what about yesterday? Did you watch any movie? Um, yes. Um, I watched um, the series because, but in, I could to say mientras. Meanwhile, meanwhile. While um, I did homework because uh, it's um, a strategy for the pay attention on my homework and, <laughs> okay. and, uh, and now I sleep. <laughs> Yeah, really, really. Come on, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. very good, very good. Okay, man. Okay, man. So, so let's check your homework, man. Okay, first homework. What was it, man? Oh, teacher. Um, I forget on the links. I I forgot. I forgot the links. All right. Okay. Sorry. So, uh, I I. I could say encontrar. I found. I found the link the album album to me the t-shirt, but um the the what is it planilla? Ah, the plan form, the plan form, the plan, the plan form. form. Good. Yeah, um, um, I I didn't um the duplicate. Because okay. the first plan for it, um, it's on the the Kenya, so. Ah, okay, 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 okay. In the Alberger, I I find out the introduction and the detail one, yes. but I forgot the the link. So today I I don't I don't found the the link. I didn't find. I didn't find the link. The link. Ah, okay, okay. So let, let me get it for you. Okay, once again. Very good. Okay, let's see. Very good. Man. So I'm writing. Very good. So it's this one, okay. Ah, yeah, I mean, it's here. Okay, so I need to share it with you, okay? And let's keep that as homework so we can check it tomorrow, okay? Very good. So I'm going to share the link with you. Okay. They yeah, okay, good. And Mina, uh, I, I've been checking your progress on Recreo and you are still missing, missing to answer Recreo, right? Oh, yeah. Good. So you have, you have like, um, this is week one, week two, week three, four, five. And also, I am missing the program this week, okay? So okay. you will have like one, two, three, four, five, and this week, which is going to be six weeks, okay? Excellent, very good. 
So that is going to be also homework, okay? To answer all of the recreo activities, okay? Very good, man. Okay, man. So let's continue, Miriam, okay? Practicing some of the TOEFL material, okay? So I'm going to share the link with you, the link to the board. I need this one, okay? Very good. That it is. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we are stop here. Okay, it says March 19. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share the sound with you. Okay, and it's going to be here. Okay, wait a minute. Very good. It's going to be track 62. Let's see. Baby, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's see. Wait a minute. Very good. So it's there, okay? The track okay. nine. A second. It's here, okay? So it says... It says today is March 19. Okay, so today we will continue practicing our TOEFL material. Okay, for the listening and for grammar. So here is my dictation: Listen to conversation between two students as they leave a classroom. Okay, it says, okay, I am the girl, Miriam, and you are the boy. Okay, it says, I'm so excited that we are. I have wanted to go to the space museum for a long time. I know it's so great that Mr. Gim. In some preserve the show at the planetarium for us. Never, my dad knows a lot of a, a lot about astronomy. Tough. He's always pointing out constellations when we are together at night. I've never been either, but Mr. Hinson's unit on the night the sky. He's fascinating me so much. Maybe one day. Good. You could always become an astronaut. Mm, I don't know. Begin an astronaut sounds a little scary to me. I'd a, a writer study a space for planet Earth. Well, that's why we are we have planetariums. I can wait until next week. Let's sit next to each other at the show. Okay, sounds good. See you tomorrow. Very good, man. Okay, so let's let's listen to this track okay first listen and don't write the second time yes okay period dictation listen to a conversation between two students as they leave a classroom i'm so excited that we're going to go on a field trip next week i wanted to go to the space museum for a long time i know it's so great that Mr. Hansen reserved the show at the planetarium for us. Have you ever been to a planetarium? Never. My dad knows a lot about astronomy, though. He's always pointing out constellations when we're together at night. I've never been either, but Mr. Hansen's unit on the night sky has fascinated me so much. Maybe one day I'll become an astronomer. You could always become an astronaut. Hmm, I don't know. Being an astronaut sounds a little scary to me. I'd rather study space from planet Earth. Well, that's why we have planetariums. I can't wait until next week. Let's sit next to each other at the show. Okay, sounds good. See you tomorrow. What are the students mainly talking about? Okay, so let's listen again, okay? Dictation. Listen to a conversation between two students as they leave a classroom. I'm so excited that we're going to go on a field trip next week. I have wanted to go to the Space Museum for a long time. I know. It's so great that Mr. Hansen reserved the show at the planetarium for us. Have you ever been to a planetarium? Never. My dad knows a lot about astronomy, though. 
He's always pointing out constellations when we're together at night. I've never been either, but Mr. Hansen's unit on the night sky has fascinated me so much. Maybe one day I'll become an astronomer. You could always become an astronaut. Hmm, I don't know. Being an astronaut sounds a little scary to me. I'd rather study space from planet Earth. Well, that's why we have planetariums. I can't wait until next week. Let's sit next to each other at the show. Okay, sounds good. See you tomorrow. What are the students mainly talking about? Okay, so they are long sentences. I will repeat each of them and I will stop, okay? So we have time to write them. Dictation. Listen to a conversation between two students as they leave a classroom. I'm so excited that we're going to go on a field trip next week. Wait a minute. I'm so excited we are going to go on a field trip next week. We are going to go on a field trip. Can you spell the field trip? F I E L D and then blank trip T R I P N next week. Okay, next week. Very good. I've wanted to go to the Space Museum for a long time. I know. It's so great that Mr. Hansen reserved the show at the planetarium for us. Have you ever been to a planetarium? Almost. Have you ever been to a planetarium? Have you ever been to a planetarium? Good. Very good. Never. My dad knows a lot about astronomy, though. He's always pointing out constellations when we're together at night. I've never been either, but Mr. Hansen's unit on the night sky has fascinated me so much. Maybe one day I'll become an astronomer. Maybe one day I'll become an astronomer. Okay, one day. I'll become I'll I'll become an astronomer. An astronomer. Astronomer. Astro... Astronomer. Hi, can you um this spell? It's A S D R exactly number. N O N O exactly M E R. Very good. Okay. Good, good, good. You could always become an astronaut. Hmm. I don't know. Being an astronaut sounds a little scary to me. I'd rather study space from planet Earth. Well, that's why we have planetariums. I can't wait until next week. Let's sit next to each other at the show. Okay. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Okay, what are the students mainly talking about? Okay, last time, okay, now with, with the complete information, okay, I am the gear, okay? I'm so excited that we are going to go on a field trip next week. I have wanted to go to the Space Museum for a long time. Um, I know it's so great that Mr. Hanson reserved the show and the at the planetarium for us. Have you ever been to a planetarium? Never. My dad knows a lot of a lot about astronomy tough. He's always pointing out constellations when we are together at night. I've never been been either. But Mr. Hinson's unit on the night sky has fascinated me so much. Maybe one day I'll become an astronomer. You could always become an astronaut. Mm, I don't know. Begin, be, begin, being, 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 an astronaut, 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 astronaut. 
astronaut sounds a little scary to me. Uh, add, add three radars to the space from planet Earth. I'd rather, I'd um, rather. <laughs> Very good. Well, that's why we have planetariums. I can't wait until next week. Let's sit next to each other at the show. Okay, sounds good. See you tomorrow. So, mira, what are the students mainly talking about? A field trip to the Space Museum, the boys' career as an astronomer, the kids' experiences with the night sky, with a constant science class about the night sky. The boys' career. This one, a, a field trip to the Space Museum. Okay, where we go, all the conversation, even at the end, say, well, let's, well, that's why we have my okay, he says, I can wait until next week. Let's sit next to each other. Okay, so let's read the practice test. Okay, it says, what is the library and explain to the boy? A, how big the library is. B, how to learn about nights. How long it will take for the, for his books to arrive. How the boy can use the interlibrary loan system. What do you mean this way on? Nights. Wait a minute, how do you say that in Spanish? Nights. Wait a minute, what is nights? I don't know. Oh, they'll, they'll put it based on one another, nights. Wait, wait, wait. I... Good. Yes, I don't know. Oh, Oh, that night, either. Exactly, night. This one, no? Night. Night. Now, there in Spanish, caballeros. Caballeros. Realmente, caballeros, así de, de la edad media, no? De la mesa redonda. Eso es night, ok? What about this, Miran? What is interlibrary loan system? Interlibrary loan system. What is that, Miran? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Also, why not, please? Interlibrary loan system. So, I mean, it's a um, sistema de préstamo interbibliotecario. Sistema de préstamo interbibliotecario. Okay. Very good. Okay, look, look at the next. It says, why does the boy, what does the boy say about the electronic car catalog? A, he has never used it. B, he already checked it. C, he doesn't know how to use it. D, the librarian should check it for him. Okay. Three, what does the boy imply when he says, maybe my mom can give me a ride? The library is too far away to walk. His mother knows a lot about libraries. He has never been to the library before, or his mother drives him to school every day. So what will the boy probably do next? Leave the library, call his mother to ask for a ride, fill out the form for interlibrary loans, ask the librarian about the electronic car catalog. This man, what about this man? What is this man? It says, um, this man, ask for a ride. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ask for a right. I don't know. Tell me, there in one place. Ask for a right means pedir un aventón. Ask for a right. Pedir un aventón. Very good. This is a fill out. Fill out. What is that? Fill out. Hmm. Is that for Yes, it is. I, I try to remember. Fill out. Um, it's a... Uh, it's llenar el formulario, no? Very good. Llenar, exactamente. Pero llenar el formato. Very good. For interlibrary loans. ¿Qué dijimos que era esto, Miriam? Interlibrary loans, Miriam. 
eh, préstamos interbibliotecarios. Very good. Préstamos interbibliotecarios. Very good. Okay. Okay, so very good. Let's let, let's continue. Okay. So let's listen. Okay. Very good. Practice test. Questions one through four. Listen to a conversation between a student and a librarian at school. Good morning, Casey. Are you looking for something? How can I help you today? Hi, Mrs. Meredith. I was wondering, do you think you could help me find some resources for my social studies project? I'm having trouble finding information. Of course I can help you. Let me ask, though, did you already check the electronic card catalog? Yes, I checked it. It seemed that there were some books on my topic, but I couldn't find them in the library. Hmm. Well, what are you researching, Casey? I'm researching the knights that lived during the Middle Ages. I searched for books specifically about knights. Do you see anything on your computer? Actually, yes, and I see why you couldn't find the books. They're at the city library, not the school library. Oh, well, hmm. Maybe my mom can give me a ride after school so I can check them out. She won't have to. We have an interlibrary loan system with city and school libraries in the area. That means you can request a book from somewhere else and that it will arrive here in just a few days. Here, fill out this form with the books you want and your school ID number. Your books should arrive on Wednesday. What a great system. Thanks so much for your help, Mrs. Meredith. Now answer the questions. Number one. What is the librarian explaining to the boy? Okay, listen again, okay? Very good. Yes. Practice test. Questions one through four. Listen to a conversation between a student and a librarian at school. Good morning, Casey. Are you looking for something? How can I help you today? Hi, Mrs. <laughs> Meredith. I was wondering, do you think you could help me find some resources for my social studies project? I'm having trouble finding information. Of course I can help you. Let me ask, though, did you already check the electronic card catalog? Yes, I checked it. It seemed that there were some books on my topic, but I couldn't find them in the library. Hmm. Well, what are you researching, Casey? I'm researching the knights that lived during the Middle Ages. I searched for books specifically about knights. Do you see anything on your computer? Actually, yes, and I see why you couldn't find the books. They're at the city library, not the school library. Oh, well, hmm. Maybe my mom can give me a ride after school so I can check them out. She won't have to. We have an interlibrary loan system with city and school libraries in the area. That means you can request a book from somewhere else and that it will arrive here in just a few days. Here, fill out this form with the books you want and your school ID number. Your books should arrive on Wednesday. What a great system. Thanks so much for your help, Mrs. Meredith. Now answer the questions. Number one. What is the librarian explaining to the boy? Okay, okay. Almost, okay. I will say that with this one, this one. Okay, this one. Okay. Okay, so listen one more time, okay? Very good. <laughs> Number yes. two. Okay. What does the boy say about the electronic card catalog? Okay, there you go. Okay. Practice test. Questions one through four. 
Listen to a conversation between a student and a librarian at school. Good morning, Casey. Are you looking for something? How can I help you today? Hi, Mrs. Meredith. I was wondering, do you think you could help me find some resources for my social studies project? I'm having trouble finding information. Of course I can help you. Let me ask, though. Did you already check the electronic card catalog? Yes, I checked it. It seemed that there were some books on my topic, but I couldn't find them in the library. Hmm. Well, what are you researching, Casey? I'm researching the knights that lived during the Middle Ages. I searched for books specifically about knights. Do you see anything on your computer? Actually, yes, and I see why you couldn't find the books. They're at the city library, not the school library. Oh, well, hmm. Maybe my mom can give me a ride after school so I can check them out. She won't have to. We have an interlibrary loan system with city and school libraries in the area. That means you can request a book from somewhere else and that it will arrive here in just a few days. Here, fill out this form with the books you want and your school ID number. Your books should arrive on Wednesday. What a great system. Thanks so much for your help, Mrs. Meredith. Now answer the questions. Number one. What is the librarian explaining to the boy? Okay, man. So let's take a guess. What, what, what is the librarian explaining to the boy? Can you please me um, another thing? Boy, how the boy can use the interlibrary inter library? Good. Interlibrary loan system. Number two. What does the boy say about the electronic? Okay, what does the boy say about the electronic card catalog? The librarian check it for him. Very good. Very good. So check it for him. Very good. Three million. What does the boy imply when he says, maybe my mom can give me a ride? Um, his mother drives him to school every day. No. Excuse me. The, the library, library to a too far, far away. away to walk. Good. What will the boy probably do next? Um, fill out the form the, for interlibrary loans. Fill out, fill out, okay, fill out. Fill out. Okay. Why is the teacher got to speak with him? Okay, but this is another, okay. Okay, so this is an, uh, part two, okay, it says, number five, why does the, why does the student go to speak with the teacher? A, to explain why he doesn't have ideas. B, to get advice on organizing his essay. C, to ask some questions about grammar. D, to find more ideas about summer camp. Number six, what is probably true about the boy? He's new to writing essays. He isn't very fond of his teacher. He's better at math than English. He has written many essays for other classes. Mr. Menon, what do you mean? He isn't very fond of. He isn't very fond of. What is that mean? What is that in Spanish mean? He yeah. isn't very fond of. El no lo es que fond of. Todo junto, mira. He isn't very fond of. Él no está muy orgulloso. O él no está muy a gusto con. Ok. Entonces, fond es orgulloso. Orgulloso, a gusto con. Very good. Seven, what does the teacher mean when he, she says, I can tell you what to include and what to leave out. That choice is up to you as, as the writer. A, each writer should make their own choices. B, a student should always ask others for help. B, the teacher is worried about the boy cheating. D, the teacher will only help the boy with his grammar. Eight, why do the teacher tell the boy to use three ideas? 
There are three days to finish the essay. B, there are three body paragraphs in the essay. C, the, body, the boy already wrote an essay with two ideas. D, there are three important things what happened at summer camp. Okay, so let's listen to that, okay? Very good. Questions five through eight. Listen to a conversation between a student and a teacher. Hello, Mrs. Carl Green. I'm wondering if you can help me with the personal essay due next week. I've got a few questions. Sure, Tyrone. What are you wondering about? Well, I've started my essay. I'm writing it about my experience at summer camp. I just have too many ideas and stories to tell. I don't know how to organize the essay. What should I include and what should I leave out? I can't tell you what to include and what to leave out. That choice is up to you as the writer. I can help you organize your essay, though. Okay, great. What's your advice? My advice is to choose three stories or ideas, one for each body paragraph. Maybe one paragraph will be about swimming, another will be about friends, and the last will be about homesickness. It's a five-paragraph essay, so what about the introduction and conclusion? Can those be stories, too? Those should be separate. Remember, the introduction simply tells about your general idea. The conclusion explains that general idea again. Okay, I think I understand. Good. Please let me know if you have any more questions. Now answer the questions. Number 5. Why does the student go to speak with the teacher? Okay, listen again, okay? It's one more time. Questions 5 through 8. Listen to a conversation between a student and a teacher. Hello, Mrs. Carl Green. I'm wondering if you can help me with the personal essay due next week. I've got a few questions. Sure, Tyrone. What are you wondering about? Well, I've started my essay. I'm writing it about my experience at summer camp. I just have too many ideas and stories to tell. I don't know how to organize the essay. What should I include and what should I leave out? I can't tell you what to include and what to leave out. That choice is up to you as the writer. I can help you organize your essay, though. Okay, great. What's your advice? My advice is to choose three stories or ideas, one for each body paragraph. Maybe one paragraph will be about swimming, another will be about friends, and the last will be about homesickness. It's a five-paragraph essay, so what about the introduction and conclusion? Can those be stories, too? Those should be separate. Remember, the introduction simply tells about your general idea. The conclusion explains that general idea again. Okay, I think I understand. Good. Please let me know if you have any more questions. Now answer the questions. Number five. Why does the student go to speak with the teacher? Okay, man, what about number five? Man? Why does the student go to speak with the teacher? To get advice on organizing his essay. Very good. What is probably true about the boy? He's new to writing essays. Good. What does the teacher mean when she when she says, I can tell you what to include or and what to leave out? That choice is up to you as a writer. The student should always ask older for help. Each writer should make their own choices. Okay, each writer should make a sucking. What do you teacher? Okay, and I can I can read. What do you teacher? Uh, the to use three ideas. Okay, okay. There are three body paragraphs in the essay. In the essay, very good, Miriam. Perfect. Okay, so this is track sixty-four. Let, let me go right here. Okay.
track 64 very good very good Okay, so let, let's move on here now to practice some kind of the grammar for the TOEFL. Okay, so I hope this grammar can be easy for you, okay? Hey, this, okay? It says, let's see exercise one. It says, performs a test on the TOEFL test. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb in parentheses for example number one. I will read one, two, and three. The word Olympic comes from Olympia in Greece. In AD 384, a Roman emperor abolished the Olympic Games. In 1875, archaeologists discovered the ruins of the Olympic Stadium in Greece. Okay, may we please answer that, please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, read this mm -hmm. and analyze it and identify you know, what tense we have to write, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. Came from Olympia, very good. Exactly. Okay, I will read the first and you will read the other, okay? The word Olympic came from Olympia in Greece. Miriam? In a put the put and the 394, a Roman imperial. Good. Abolished in the Olympic Games. Abolished. 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 Very good. In 1875, archaeologists discovered the ruins of the Olympic Stadium in Greece. Okay, man. it says the French educator Pierre de, de Coubertin proposed that the Games be revived. Since 1896, the Olympic Games um, be held every four years with some exceptions. In the Olympic Games of 1896, the athletes be men only. Women be admitted in 1900. Mm. Very good. See, like this is great. The ideas are held, mean, are held. Are held, son celebrados. Very good. Every four years. Where am I? Only very good. Excellent, Miriam. Very good. Okay, so let's see. Yes, yes. The French educator Pierre de Coubertin proposed that the games be revived. Okay. Miriam, please. Um, since uh, the 1896, um, the Olympic Games we are held every four years with some exceptions. It says, in the Olympic Games of 1896, the athletes were men only. Women were admitted in 90-0-0. Women were admitted. Were admitted. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 exercise two. Correct the vertices in the following sentences were necessary. First, I will read. The Olympics have taken place every four years between 776 BC and AD 394. Women started to, to participate in the Games in 1900. From 1896 to the present, Olympic Games were held every four years. Minute, please, number four, with? With a few recent exceptions, professional athletes do not take part in the Olympic, uh, the Olympic Games. 
why this international competition period the the convert converting has wanted to encourage both the sport and world peace. Good. In 1916 or 1940 and 1944, the Olympic Games have not taken place. Very good. Okay, man. some of them are incorrect. There is only, there is only one, two corrects in this. Okay, first of all, number one. The Olympics okay, have taken place every four years between 776 BC and AD 394. Okay. Here, the Olympics. Hear me, okay. Took place. Took place every four years between, okay. Have taken, no, took place in the past, okay. What about number two? Correct me or incorrect. Women started to participate in the games in 1900. What do you think? Mm. Mm. Um, in my opinion, um, it's maybe one is targeted to participate. No, 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 no. It's it's correct. No, no. Excellent, Miriam. Good. Exactly. Excellent. That is correct. Exactly. Very good. So let's put it here a tick. Okay. Good. Power number three now. From 1896 to the present, the Olympic Games were held every four years. It's from no, no, it's. Ah, from is good. From 18 is it desde 1896 a la actualidad. The Olympic Games were held. The way for the area are, no? Estamos diciendo que es desde. Exactly, miren. Are being held. Exactly, very good. Are. Están siendo celebrados. Very good. Are being held. Are, are being con being esta que diga están siendo are exactly very good held every examinam very good question number four man. with a few recent exceptions professional athletes do not take part in Olympic Games con algunas Excepciones, recientes excepciones, ¿no? Very good. Profesión, atletas profesionales. Con unas pocas excepciones recientes. Atletas profesionales no, no, no toman parte. No, en no los, participan, no participan. No participan en los Juegos Olímpicos. It's correct, ¿no? Exactly, Miriam. That one is clear, okay? No mistakes. Okay, number five. With this international competition, Pierre de Coubertin has wanted to encourage both sport and. Excuse me, okay. Number five, good, okay. Okay, so I will read. It says, with, the, with this international competition, Pierre de Coubertin has wanted to encourage both sport and world peace. Con la competition international. Quiere, quiere o quería, no. Exactly, mejor yo sé, quiso. No, it's too much, it's too much, has. Exactly, only wanted to encourage. Sería wanted. Very good. Okay, in 1916, 1940, and 1944, the Olympic Games have not taken place. Sería didn't take, no? Exactly. Wow, because it's about the past, very good. Didn't take place. Excellent, Miriam. Okay, Miriam, I will read now with the correct version. Okay, it says, 
The Olympics took place um, every four years between 776 ABC and AD 384. Women. Women. Women started to participate in the games in 1906. From 1896 to the present, the Olympic Games are being held every four years. Uh, with a few recent exceptions, professional athletes do not take part in the Olympic Games. Good. With this international competition, Pierre de Coubertin wanted to encourage both sport and world peace. In 1916, 1940 and 1944, the Olympic Games didn't take place. Okay. I'm going to send the link to Carlos and Kenya. Let's see if they join or or maybe they are too busy. Very good. Let me see. Thank you. Okay. So the next part I mean, is, is, is about the passive voice, but in the book today, we are going to do, okay, the passive voice, okay? So in the meantime, let's, let's continue with exercise three, okay? It says, okay, let me make it bigger, it says. What is okay. exercise three? It says, circle the, the letter of the word or phrase that, that correctly completes the sentence. I will read number one. When archaeology is discovered, the ruins of the Olympic Stadium, interest in the game uh, was renewed, were renewed, they were renewed, renewed. Super easy. Interest in the games, okay, was yeah. renewed. Was renewed. Why was? Because the Soviet is interest. Interest, okay. Excellent, very good. Okay, ma'am. Could you please read number two, please? The ancient Olympic Games. Syria uh, began as a mature contest, but in the time became professional. Okay, you continue, ma'am, and then we check, okay? You continue answering, and then we check, okay? Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Olympic Games are held over two years in a select country. Um, they are open. No. Mm -hmm. They are open. When the first place in the world for the glory in the ancient place, Okay, so let, let's read. Like we read the first and you read the second. Okay, it says, 
When Akaloji described the ruins of the Olympic Stadium, interest in the games was renewed. Yeah, number two, mm -hmm. the ancient. The ancient Olympic Games began as a material contest, but in the time become proficient. Very good. The Olympic Games are held every four years in a selected country, and they are opened to athletes of all nations. Good, cool, Miriam. Number four, number four, Miriam, winning first. Winning first place in the event was the only glory in the ancient games because second and third places were not recognized. Recognize, recognize, recognize. Good. The winner received a great made from the branches of the secret olive tree. Good, Miriam. Six. After more than one thousand five hundred years, had Athens um, were chosen for the site of the first modern Olympics. Okay, Miriam. Athens. Wait a minute. Athens is one country. So Athens, oh, what is similar, like saying like Mexico or yes. Canada, no, was chosen. Very good. The marathon, first stage in 1896, was commemorated the legendary feat of a Greek soldier who carried news of victory from the battlefield and marathon to Athens. Very good. Very good. The living trudge, uh, Boris struck the games and is the ex English and the closing ceremony. Here, Miriam, what is Torch, Miriam? Very good, Miriam. Borns, mm -hmm. excellent, Miriam. Very good, okay. Okay, Miriam. so let, let's continue with the book, Miriam. Okay. So I think Kenya is still at work, which is too bad. And Carlos is too far, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay. Here it is, okay. Okay, I think we have already done this listening, but anyway, let's listen to it again. Very good. Okay, this way it's called local news. Okay, so let's let's listen. Okay. Page one hundred eighteen, unit twelve, in the news, lesson A, local news, one, getting started, B. Listen, Jack is telling Ruth some local news. Complete the sentences. Anything interesting in the paper? Oh, not much. Let's see. Uh, $10,000 was found in a bag on a city bus. $10,000? I should ride the bus more often. Yeah, and listen to this. Two large bears were seen last night in someone's yard. Huh, that's kind of scary. Oh, and a jewelry store was broken into, and some diamonds were stolen. Um, what else? The city airport was closed yesterday because of strong winds. Really? Well, it was pretty windy. Yeah, all the flights were delayed. Oh, and a bus was hit by a falling tree. Fortunately, the passengers weren't hurt. Is that all? Nothing exciting, I guess. Okay, man. You are Ruth. I am Jack. Okay. Okay. Anything interesting in the paper? Oh, uh, not much. Let's see. Oh, ten thousand dollars was found in a bag on a city bus. Ten thousand dollars. I should ride the bus more often. Yeah, I need to this. Two large bears were seen last night in someone's yard. Oh, um, that's kind of off the scary. Oh, and the jewelry store was broken into, and some diamonds were stolen. Oh, what else? The city airport was closed yesterday because of strong winds. Really? Well, it was pretty windy. Yeah, all the flights were delayed. Oh, and a bus was hit by a falling tree. Fortunately, the passengers were in hurt. Uh, it's that all? Nothing exciting, I guess. Very good, man. Okay. Okay, so let, let's I will take this to the board, okay? And we will answer that there. Very good. Excellent. Good, good, good. I okay. wait. Yes, 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 of course, yes, sure. Okay, so let's see. 
Okay, man. so we have with Katie. It says, getting started, it says, listen, that is starting to some local news. Complete the sense, okay? Okay, first I will read. Someone found on a city bus, there were two beers in a, okay, a thief broke into a, the airport had to close because of a falling tree hit a, I mean, I, I think you remember, I mean, for example, someone found, Super easy. I will tell you that, okay? Exactly. 10,000. Someone found $10,000, okay? Teacher, wait a minute, please. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes go ahead. Great. Yeah. Okay, man. So could we complete the others? He says there were two beers in um do you remember where the beers were being? No, I don't know. Yeah, I will tell you in a yard. In a, in a yard, very good. Exactly. What is it? A thief broke into a un ratero se metió a Broke into a. I don't remember. Ah, tell How do you say mean joyería? How do you say mean in English joyería? No, I will tell you in in a. Remember. Jail. Jailware store. Jailware store. Jailware store. Yeah, okay. As yeah, chain. Jailware store. Very good. The airport had to close because of. Ay, viento, viento fuerte. How is it? Viento fuerte. Viento fuerte. Strong wind. Exactly. Strong wind. Exactly. Good. Very good. A falling tree hit a. A boss. Mm -hmm. A falling tree hit a boss. A falling tree hit. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, okay. Okay, man, so I will read the first and you do the second. It says, someone found ten thousand dollars okay, on a city bus. Number two, William. There were two beers in a chart. Good. A tea frog into a jaguar store. The apron okay. had to close because of a strong wind. A falling tree hit a boss. No me says, complete the second sentence so it means the same as the first. Use a conversation above to help you. What did you notice about the verse? For example, I will tell you, I will read. Someone broke into a jaguar yesterday, into a jaguar store. A falling tree hit a boss. Someone saw two beers last night. Someone stole some diamonds. The accident didn't hurt the passengers. For example, all of the sentences, Miriam, tell me in, in what tense, Miriam, what tense are, are, are they written this sentence, Miriam? What is the tense, Miriam, for all of these examples? Can you repeat, please, Yes. What is the tense, Miriam? What is the verb tense for these sentences? Are they present, future? Present continuous, present perfect, past, past continuous, we exactly. All of, number, number one, they are all in past. Number two, a jailware store 
fíjate lo que hay que hacer. El Liquid Store was, ahí te pongo, mira, was broken into. Okay. El Liquid Store was broken into. Que dice ahí, una joyería fue irrumpida. Fíjate cómo dice acá. Someone broke into the query. Alguien irrumpió, okay, o se metió a una joyería. Y cambia, mira, mira, cambia de. A Yelwari, mira, pasa a ser el sujeto. A Yelwari, store was broken into. Una joyería fue irrumpida, fue asaltada. ¿Cómo está el segundo, mira? A falling tree hit a boss. A boss was hit. Ay. Exactly. A boss was hit. Hit, hit, hit. Exactly. By the falling tree. Someone saw two beers last night. Two beers. Were. Very good. Sound, sound. So, sí, so. Y usamos el otro que es sin. Very good, man. Good. Where's in? Excellent. Someone stole some diamonds. Some diamonds. Very good. Were. Stolen, no? Very good. Were stolen. Mm. And diamonds were stolen. Very good. The accident didn't hurt the passengers. The passengers. Passengers weren't. Very good. Hurt. Very good. Okay, man, I will read the phrases. I get where you store. Has bro was broken into. Uh, a bus was was hit by fire a firing tree. Two beers See? were were seen last night. Good. Some diamonds were stolen. Good. The passengers were hurt in the accident. Good. Hello, Charlie. Welcome, Charlie. How are you, Charlie? Hello, hello, Charlie. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Ah, uh, sorry. I was turning off the microphone. <laughs> Good, Charlie. Welcome to the class, Charlie. How are you today? Fine, fine. Excellent, Charlie. Please, Charlie, tell us. How was your weekend, Charlie? My weekend? Ah. Uh, what did you do lazy. last this? La this long weekend, Charlie. Ah, so peacefully, really relaxed. I was in lazy town. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't go out? What? You, you didn't go out? Just with my aunt. Oh. I didn't go out anywhere. Anywhere oh, else. Okay. okay, Charlie, very good. And Charlie, yes. tell me something. What is the weather like right now in Veracruz? Windy, cloudy. I don't know if it's going to rain. Isn't it hot? Not today. Today oh. uh -huh. was really, the weather was really, really good. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. That's good. Okay. Here, here in Hidalgo, Charlie, is terribly hot. Okay. Terribly, terribly hot. Yeah. Well, on weekend was really, really hot. Ah, but okay, okay, okay. it's better known in here. It's common in here that when we have two or three days of, of really, really hot, yes. it's coming a, a wind. Ah, uh, okay, okay, very good. Okay. Tell yeah. me, uh, how, how often do you go to the sea? To take a shower, not so much. Uh, okay, why not? You, you don't like uh, swimming at the sea? Yeah, I like it, but I don't usual. I'm I don't go. Not I'm not usually don't go. I usually don't go. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Good, Charlie. Yeah. Charlie, I'm gonna go today, Charlie. What do you have for breakfast today? For breakfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, first I drank a liquado. Okay, a milkshake. A milkshake. A milkshake. Yeah. A milkshake. A milkshake, and then. Three empanadas. Three empanadas, okay. Chale, did you buy them or did you cook them? No, I bought them. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Chale, and how, how much is an, uh, an empanada there? It depends. It depends on the cooker, of the the sound. Well, oh. it depends on the cooker. 
Ok, on Gosh. average. By 10 to 15 pesos. Ah, ok, ok, very good, Tony, very good. Tony, I'm going for lunch. What do you have for lunch today? For lunch, I'm eating just right now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to eat rice, meat, chicken, vegetables, I don't know. No, I wanted to, I was really starving, and I just made something quick, fried eggs with sausages. <laughs> Deliciously, very good. Good, Tony. Tony, and then, how is your puppy? The puppy is really yes. good. Good. Uh, she just ate before me. <laughs> that, that's typical, Charlie. Okay, that's typical. Okay. Okay, my friend. So, listen. Welcome, Charlie. Okay, you just arrived on, on time. Okay. Just in time to learn something new, Charlie. Maybe you already know. Okay. Maybe Miriam already knows it, which is the simple past passive. Okay. For example. In the sentences with active verbs, the subject is a doer and the object is the receiver of an action. Use active verbs to focus on doer or cause. For example, a student found a bug on a bus. The authorities. Okay. Hello, Kenya. Good evening, Kenya. How are you, Kenya? Hello, fine. Excellent, Kenya. Kenya, tell us, Kenya, how was your long week in Kenya? Did you have a long week in Kenya? No, I have. I had to work. Yesterday? Yes. That's too bad, Kenya. Why, Kenya? Yesterday was a day off, Kenya, no? Yes, but now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kenya. Kenya, I was like, what do you do last week in Kenya? What do you do Saturday and Sunday? I went to work the same. Saturday too? Yes, on Sunday. Oh, Kenya, so you didn't have a weekend? No. <laughs> That's too bad, Kenya. Kenya, and what time did you start working on Sunday? Stop at yes. the 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay, Kenya. That's about okay. Kenya, and um, later, Kenya, what do you do? Tell me, Kenya, that you read a book. Tell me, Kenya, that you saw a movie. What do you do? Yes, I watch it as uh, movies with my okay. sisters. Okay, 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 Kenya. And Kenya, what movies were they? I watched the Six Cents. Okay, the Six Cents. Okay, is 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 it good, Kenya? Yes, it's really good. Okay, uh, Kenya, is is it a horror movie? Mm. Or a thriller? A thriller. Ah, okay, Kenya, very good. Okay, okay, Kenya, and do, do you recommend it to me, Kenya? Yes, I recommend. Very good, Kenya. Good, Kenya. Excellent, Kenya. So, Kenya, welcome to Kenya. You just arrived in time, Kenya, okay, to learn some, something new. I, I think that you and Carlos and Miriam have already seen this, okay? So, it should, should be a problem, okay? For example, today we're going to practice passive voice, okay? Passive voice in the past. Passive voice can be in different, in different tenses, present, past, future, will, going to modal verbs, any tense, okay? For today, we're going to focus just on the simple past tense, okay? For example, it says, a student found a bug on a bus, okay? The authorities closed the airport. A teenager saw two bears in a yard. The accident didn't then injure the passengers. All of these sentences, my friends, grammatically, they are called active sentences or active voice. Okay, what is active voice? Active voice is the usual, the normal way we speak. For example, you can say, for example, Kenya can say, Kenya can say, I saw, I don't know, two movies last weekend. Okay. I saw two movies last weekend. This is also active voice. Okay. Active voice is the normal way we speak every day. For example, Charlie, can you tell me one sentence, Charlie, in the past, please, Charlie? Something about what you, what you or your friends or your, I don't know, two co-workers did last weekend, please, or in the past. Last weekend or whatever. Mm. Exactly. Um, I don't know. I 
How do you say bañar a la perrita? Okay. Shower the dog? Exactly. No. I exactly I showered. Shower my, the puppy. My pet, no? I say shower my pet. No? My pet. Very good. What about uh, Miriam? Do you please tell me Miriam one example? Miriam in the in the past, please Miriam. Any tense you want? any example, Miriam, please. But in the past. Mm -hmm. Um, I ate um tacos. Very good. I ate, I don't know, Miriam. I'm gonna say two tacos. Two tacos last. I don't know, Miriam. Last weekend, no? Exactly. So remember. Active voice is a normal way we speak every day. Everybody in press, in, in Spanish, in English, in any language, everybody speaks in active voice. Okay. Why? Why active voice? Because the subject, okay, the doer, and el que hace, the doer of the action is at the beginning of the sentence. And the receiver, okay, and the receiver is after two movies last weekend, shower my pet, ate two tacos last weekend, okay? Remember, passive voice. Passive voice is usually for formal communication. Okay, passive voice is mainly used in written information. Obviously, you can say passive voice uh, by speaking, but it's not very common. Okay, for example, here it says, "Look at the change. A student found a bag on a bus." You know, ¿Cómo cambia? A bag was found on a bus. Here. Cambiamos, vean, el receiver, ahora cambia al inicio, ¿ok? Look at the next. The utility is closed the airport. The airport was closed. A teenager saw two beers in a yard. Two beers were seen in a yard. The accident didn't injure the passengers. The passengers were injured. ¿Qué hice el primero? Una bolsa fue encontrada en un autobús. Kenia. Uf. How do you say Miriam, this is from Kenya in Spanish, Kenya? The airport was closed, Kenya. El aeropuerto está cerrado. Estaba, o estaba cerrado o fue cerrado. Very good. Carlos, two beers were seen in a yard. Dos osos fueron vistos en el patio. Exactamente. Ven, chicos, ¿cómo aquí cambia? Ven, aquí el énfasis, chicos, es en acción. ¿Cuál es la acción? De que una bolsa fue encontrada... El aeropuerto estuvo cerrado, o fue cerrado, y dos osos fueron, fueron vistos. Y aquí, la acción es hacia la persona que lo hace. Por ejemplo, a student, the authorities, a teenager. Mira, how do you say the next, Mira? The passengers weren't injured. Can you remember the passengers? What is the passengers? Yes, los pasajeros. Los pasajeros no estaban... Lastimados. No fueron, no fueron lastimados. Los pasajeros no fueron lastimados. For example, here, let's say, for example, vean, chicos, vean lo que voy a escribir. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, yo voy a decir algo que hice el fin de semana. Vean, I visited, I visited Omitlan, ok, last weekend. Ok. Vean cómo es. Ahí está, ahí está. Yo visité Omitlan el fin de semana pasado. Vean cómo cambia. Omitlan, vean, Omitlan was visited by me. Vean, ahí está. Omitlan fue visitado por mí. Vean cómo cambia, chicos. Verb in the past and verb in past participle. Not participle, past participle. For example, Kenya. How do you change Kenya? I saw two movies last weekend. How do you change Kenya from active to passive Kenya? Uh, it's uh, two movies. Very good. But... Two movies. So. Where? The word verb to be. Where? Y el verbo, mira, perdón, Kenia, el verbo que sigue Kenia es en pasado principio. Two movies were. Sí, so. Sell. Sin. 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 Very good. By me last weekend. Okay. 
Two movies were seen by me last week. Very good. Carlos, I showered my pet. The pet was showered by me. My pet, because my, my pet was showered, showered by, by me. me. Very good. Miriam, I ate two tacos last weekend. Um, last weekend? Um, last weekend? Tacos? No. Brilliant. Here's two tacos. Two tacos last weekend? No, where, two tacos were ate. Uh, eaten. Were, eaten, were eaten last weekend by me. Oh, no. Two tacos were eaten by me last weekend. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> Very good. Two tacos were eaten by me last weekend. Recuerden siempre la regla. Primero ponemos el objeto. Bien. Después ponemos verbo to be en pasado. Puede ser was aware. Then we write a verb in past participle. Bien. Y esta parte puede ser emitida. El, el by me o by you, o by José, o by María, by Roberto, puede ser vitina. Muchos de lo que quieran expresar. Si es importante para, la, para la, el enunciado, lo mencionan. Si no, vean como acá, estos. Ninguno lo mencionó, vean. A bag was on a bus, the airport was closed, two beers were sitting in a yard, the passengers were in. ¿Por qué? Porque la parte que pudo haber ido aquí después de by, no es importante. Lo importante ya fue. A bag was found, the airport, two beers, and the passengers. Okay. Yeah. Bien, si no sé si puede que así lo vean, por ejemplo. Kenya. Questions, Kenya, with this, Kenya, with the passive voice? Um, at the moment, no. Very good. Carlos? Questions? No, Carlos, with the for the voice? moment. Very good. Miriam? No, teacher. No. Okay, look at these numbers, for example. Look at this, okay. Let's go to the next one. I'm going to write here another active voice, for example. What if I say, for example, my mother cooks Mexican food every day? Okay. Okay, look at the next one. Yeah, let me change the color. For example, what if I say, um, for example, let's say Maria. Maria washes uh, her clothes. Washes her clothes on Sundays. Okay, on Sundays. Maria washes her clothes on Sundays. For example, let's say, uh, I don't know, Teresa. Teresa drives her car to go to her office. Question for Kenya. Kenya. Please, Kenya. Tell me, Kenya, what verb tense are they? Listen. My mother cooks Mexican food every day. Maria washes her clothes on Sundays. Teresa drives her car to go to her office. What tense is this, Kenya? What tense is this? ¿Qué tiempo de son, Kenya? The first, it's a simple path. Are you sure? Um, yes. I will, te lo digo en español, mira. En español dice, mi mamá cocina comida mexicana todos los días. Es present simple. Very good. Nere, Kenia, María washes her clothes on Sundays. ¿Qué tiempo es, Kenia? Uh, present simple. Present simple, very good. Teresa drives her car to go to, go to her office. Mm, present simple. Very good. Bien, chicos, como dice que Inés, están en presente simple y es correcto, ¿ok? Vean lo que pasa. Bien, también se puede cambiar a pasivo. Bien, por ejemplo, como diría así, ¿verdad? Mexican food. In this case, Mexican, Mexican food is cooked. Cooked. By my mother every day. Bien, chicos, aquí el cambio es aquí. Bien. En el verbo to be. Acá todos usan o was aware. Porque los enunciados, because the sentences were in simple past, okay? For example, what about Carlos? Maria watches her clothes on Sundays. Carlos, how do you change to the passive? Um, sería... Vamos a tomar un Maria watches... Um, vamos a ponerlo así, mira, para que quede mejor. Some clothes on Sundays. It is... Um, 
Some clothes are washed. Some clothes are, are washed, washed by Maria on Sundays. By Maria on Sundays. Exactly. I look at the bear. Okay, here is bear to be is in present. Ojo, oh, chicos, ven que el único que cambia es eh, el verbo to be. Todo lo demás, bien, el verbo cooked, el verbo watch, está en pasado participio. Todo lo demás queda igual. El cambio es solamente en el verbo to be. Miriam, Teresa drives her car to go to her office. Can you please wait here, me? Can you hear me, please? Um, her car? Mm -hmm. Very good. Drive. Can you please wait there? Very good. Her yeah. car. No. Drive, 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 present, drop the pass. And the pass possible, bien? Drive, present, drop the pass. Driven, pass, pass. Not driven not very good. Her car is driven, very good. Go. Ah, there, there, bien. Bye, bye, Teresa. Her car is driven by Teresa. Exactly. And there is to go. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh. Exactly. So remember, okay. Passive voice can be used in any tense, okay? Remember, in inactive voice, in active voice, we have many different verb tenses. For example, in English, we have 12 verb tenses. So... Mm -hmm. We can also use 12 vertences in the passive voice. Okay, okay. so let's listen, okay? Let's practice, okay? Number one, okay, I, I will read, okay? It says, a 500 pound beer, okay? Find asleep in a basement on Tuesday morning. The beer, okay, wake up by a workman who said he freaked when he realized it was a bear. Wildlife officers, okay, call and the beer take to a state park. Kenya, can you please read number two? A sporting goods store, I a sporting good store um, yesterday. Okay. And break into, break into. Break into yesterday and uh, 50 bicycle. Still, I like to uh, see outside the store around uh, um, 5 a.m. Um, whatever, security cameras. Uh, however, however. Security cameras, the match Good. Uh, during the break, break in so the use. Very good. Not catch on camera. Good. Carlos, millions of stolen banknotes. Millions of stolen banknotes find in a police raid this morning. Police believe the money still from a city bank two years ago. Carlos, ¿qué es esto? A police right. A police right. ¿Qué es esto, Carlos? En España, Carlos. A police right. No es estación de policía, ¿o sí? Ah, no, no, no. Ahí, chicos. Pónganlo para ahí, chicos. A police right. A police right. Una redada policíaca. Mm. Una redada o una, una revisión, si quieren un poquito más. más ¿Un retén? Un retén, exactamente. Exactamente. Very good. Okay, Mina, could you please read number four, Miriam? The highway. The highway um, for several hours last night after a car by an oil truck, hundreds of gallons of oil onto the highway to passengers in the car to the hospital, the driver of the truck. Not in your okay? Okay, for example, I will do number one. It says... A 500 pound beer, okay, look at this, was found asleep in a basement on Tuesday morning. The beer was waken up, okay, there, was waken up by a woman who said he freaked when he realized it was a beer. Wildlife officers yeah, were called and the beer was taken okay was taken to a state park sorry 
Okay. Okay. So number two, number two is um, this is Carlos. Okay. Number three is Kenya. And number four is Miriam. Okay. Can you send me the link? Can you send me the link yes, for? Yes, I, I will share the link to Carlos and Kenya. Very good. Wait a minute. Okay. So. Bueno, chicos, si tienen problemas, chicos, me dicen, ok, y yo les ayudo. Let's go to Kenya. And this is Carlos. Very good. There it is. Ok. Very good. Okay, so let's see. Very good. Okay. Okay, exporting good was broken into. Very good. Very good. Was hit, where is built. Kind of very good. Where weren't injured when injured. Okay, I will read mine, okay, and then you will read yours. Okay, for example, it says I find find the pond beer was found asleep in a basement on Tuesday morning. The beer was waken up by a workman who said he freaked. When he arrived, it was a beer. Wildlife officers were called and the beer was taken into a set park. Carlos, a sporting goods store. A sporting goods store was broken into yesterday and 50 bicycles were stolen. A wet truck was seen outside the store around 5 a.m. However, security cameras were damaged during this break in. So the thieves weren't captured on camera. Yeah, weren't. Let me tell you, when caught. Caught, ah, uh, yeah. When caught, when okay, caught. Very good. Kenya, millions of stolen banknotes. Millions of the stolen banknotes were found 
in the police right this morning. Police uh, believe the money was stolen from a city bank two years ago. Okay, Kenya. What is Kenya? Banknotes. What is that in Spanish, Kenya? Banknotes. Como... This, this Kenya banknotes is a formal, the formal for... This for... For... Bills. Bills, okay, lo ponemos aquí. Billetes, okay. The informal, the formal is bills, okay. Or, and the formal is banknotes. Banknotes, okay. Very good. Miriam, the highway. The highway was closed for several hours last night after a car was hit by an oil truck. Hundreds of gallons of oil were spilled spilled, spilled onto the highway. Two passengers in the car were taken to the hospital. The driver of the truck were injured. Injured. Injured, okay. Injured. Okay, so let's continue here. It says, Christ and others using the prompts given at the simple past passive. I will read. It says, are they a dinosaur? Okay, I, I, I can read. It's, I think it's this one green. I, I, I cannot read this in this, okay? <laughs> who is this who is pointer? Is Kenya or no? This one, Ah, yes, very good. A dinosaur bone find in a store box at the Boston Museum this week. The bone identified as a new species of dinosaur. Two main subway lines, okay, yesterday for a second day. Repairs of the lines are not complete on time. Please, uh, Miriam, a, a, a live show. A live show in New York City Council last night after the lead singer fell of the stage. Good. Ticket holders? Ticket holder not referred. Very good. What is medium lead singer? What is the meaning? Lead singer. I don't know. Okay. I think it was pointing for him. Lead singer. O mejor dicho, todo junto, the, the, the lead singer. The lead singer. Todo junto, chicos, es el vocalista. Todo, chicos, the lead singer, el vocalista. Okay. Por ahí. The lead singer. Okay, Charlie, please. Number four. Police call. Police call to an apartment after neighbors heard strange sounds. A raccoon. A rick. A raccoon trapped inside the apartment. It removed by animal services. Okay, Charlie, what is a raccoon, Charlie? Mapache. Un mapache, very good. Okay, no, okay, listen, for example, I will do no more. A dinosaur, look at this, for example. A dinosaur bone was found, okay, in a storage, okay, box, and all the rest at a Boston Museum this week, okay? The bone, super easy, okay? the bone was identified as a new species of a dinosaur, okay? Okay, so number two, this is Carlos, okay? Number three is Kenya, okay? And medium is number four, okay? Very good.
Very good, it's okay. Ah, there, there's a look, look. The, the, the beginning, Charlie, is here. Two main subway lines. That is the beginning, okay? Two main subway lines were closed yesterday for a second day. Here's what you have to edit, okay? That is the beginning. Two main subway lines. Very good. Exactly. Why? Why? Because um, the activity already gives you the beginning of the sentence okay very good two main subway lines very good i think it repairs to the lines weren't very good repairs to the line weren't Okay, I will read my, my two examples. Says, a dinosaur was found in a store box. Okay, a dinosaur bone was found in a store box at the Boston Museum this week. The bone was identified as a new species of di dinosaur. Charlie, two bane. The main supply lines were closed for a second day. Very good. Repairs. Repair to the lines weren't completed on time. Very good. Kenya, a live show. A live show in New York City was cancelled last night after the uh, land the silver fill of the uh, stage. Yeah, the stage. Okay, very good. Okay, now, ticket holders. Uh, ticket holders weren't uh, refunded. We, uh, I see, I see, refunded. Very good. Exactly. Good, good, good. Yes, good. Miriam, police. Police was called to an apartment after neighbors heard a stranger, a stranger 
Sounds. Strange. Strange. Sounds. Good. A raccoon. A raccoon was trapped inside the apartment. It was removed by animal service. Very good. Animal service. Very good. Excellent, friends. Okay. Here, Carlos, Kenya, and Miriam. Questions, my friends, about the passive in the past? This one? No, for sure. No? Not for now. Okay. Kenya? No. Okay. The same question for everybody, guys. Okay. Any questions for passive in the present? No, teacher. No? Okay. Uh, in the present. So basically, okay. Remember, okay, basically, the, the change is always in verb to be. Okay, here is past, was, aware, and in present is obviously is or are. And the, and verb, the participle. Exactly. And there is only in the past participle. Okay. Remember, you can mention by if that is important for the sentence. If no, like all of this here, okay? Here they didn't mention by. Why? Because that was not important for the sentence, okay? Okay, so before, before we go, okay, I want to check your recreo activities. I want to see Kenya. I, I, I already checked Miriam, okay? I want to see Kenya. Okay, I didn't Kenya. do anything. No? It's no. Kenya is missing one, two, three, and this week, okay? I will work out this week, okay? So, Kenya, you, you have to up, update, okay? It's going to be updated, okay, to the activities, okay? Do you have progress to access Kenya? No, no. No? Very good, okay. Let's see, Carlos. Very good, Carlos. Very good. It's one, two, three, four, five. And this week, okay, I will today after class, I will program this week, okay? Okay, remember, Carlos, you have to be updated, Carlos, okay? So, try to answer Recreo, okay? Let, let's see your topics, Carlos, okay? Ah, look, Carlos, here, we have a problem with the phrase, Albert, Carlos, okay? Yeah. Okay. Everything is in green, 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 okay? Okay, I didn't check Kenya. Let me see Kenya. Kenya, can the Kenya. Very good, Kenya. So let's see the listos. The same, okay, phrasal verbs, okay. Green and yellow, remember, yellow, it means that the topic is in the process of being learned by you, okay, that is not bad, okay. Very good. Okay, so maybe, maybe tomorrow, Carlos, Kenya, okay, we will practice phrasal verbs, okay? Because this is the only topic which is in red. All of the others are great. Okay, my friends, so that will be all for today. Thank you, Carlos, Kenya, and Mina for being here today, okay? Have a great night, please sleep tight, okay? Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye, thank you, night-night. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye, thank you.